hi everyone welcome back to this welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will discuss uh, how we can create directories in rfs using rpgle uh, program in s400 so for creating directories we have a command mkdir available on ibm i uh, but we 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 got won't gonna use that here so we will be using an api mkdir that's a c api so in rpg program so let's see how we can uh, call this api or you can say a procedure to create a directory on the ifs so before creating a directory we must know what it is so it is similar to the uh, libraries so libraries contain objects so these ifs files contain ifs directory contains the stream files within it so it's basically a container for the stream files so the same way we have the authorities for the stream files we have authorities for this as well now let's do work link here so you can see this is my home directory and here i have uh, various files created now you can see there there are no further directories here so i can uh, what i can do i'll be creating uh, a directory within my home directory slash home slash easy class then slash dir1 let's say so we can create a sub directory inside a directory so basically uh, that's again a directory that's so let's see how we can do that so since we are using the prototypes um, here so we must define default activation group star no in this program then you can see i'm using this api mkdir uh, and calling that using the uh, defining that prototype using the xt proc since i can rename uh, the name here the procedure name here but i keep it same you can keep it different so what input parameters it has it has a uh, directory path so where you want to create your directory uh, that's the first parameter and you can see that's a pointer uh, and pass by value and options start string that is either we can pass an address or we can pass in a string uh, the mo mode is 10u0 and that's again passed by value so uh, this is something which is authority to that directory so when we create any directory we assign the authorities to that directory that who can access that directory in which mode whether in read write or search or other etc and what it returns is it returns a let's say it returns a number that is if either 0 or minus 1 so if it's minus 1 which means that the creation of directory is failed Um, and if it is zero, it means the directory is created successfully. Now, once we are going to create the directory, we must uh, perform the error handling as well. So here I use these two APIs, uh, error IFS, which is basically returning me the pointer that is pointer to the error number, uh, that is an integer pointer again. now this will call this api and str error which will call this str error api and it will take that error number pointer number that is error pointer which is return from here so this will take error number as input and it will turn me the message to that point so using that number we cannot say what that error is because we only know the number so using that number we can retrieve the error description message using this api so we need these two apis 
um, because the the this API is dependent upon this one. Now here you can see I defined uh, these variables return and underscore mkdir which is returned from this. Whenever we call this, we will take the return in this variable directory path. So which is here the input because these are not definitions for the variable this is definition for the prototype so it's just a prototype that how we call and what we pass and it's just for compiler pu compiler purpose not for the program so here we are defining the variable set tree path and the mode now since this again will return pointer and this will return the pointer and take number so what we do first for first one we define a pointer and this error number which is an integer point integer uh, 10 i 0 and it is based upon this error number so whatever being returned from here will be the error number and then that error number is passed to that api and this will return with the error message pointer and this is the error message which is based upon this pointer now in directory path we will pass the path where we need to create the directory so that's a fully qualified path and the important thing here is whatever the path we are uh, passing let's say this one so the previous paths must be created so this path must be created so that we can create this path so this is the uh, uh, prerequisite so we can either uh, first check whether uh, the previous paths are created or not so what we can do we can create them first then then we can create this so let's i uh, let's say i am to create this ifs path ifs directory so what i'll do i'll do step by step so i'll create first but this will always be available this is my home directory so i'm not creating that so i need to create this dir1 so if let's say i have to create dir1 slash dir2 then what i'll be doing is first time creating dir1 and then I am creating the add. Let's say that's in loop by extracting those dir1 and dir2 from here. But that's a very simple example. Now, after this, a second parameter is moved that is the authorities. So I would say that this, these flags I would pass to the authority. So whatever authority I I want to give to that directory that uh, uh, owner authority group authority other people authority so I can I can assign read authority write or execute authorities to the owner to the uh, group to the other people's so uh, here you can see this is denoting a constant value that is a decimal value 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 256 so which basically denotes the binary so what we are doing we are setting some bits on uh, so that to assign that authority so this is the first bit so let's say if it's a 16 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, let's it will be completed in 9 I'm setting the first bit on for providing this authority that is uh, for other people execute authority for write authority what I am giving I'm setting the second bit on okay so for read authority to the other people I would be setting third bit to on so this way uh, let's say I, I I want to give all these authorities to that other people to the other peoples so I'll pass 4 plus 2 plus 1 which means I'm setting first second and third all the bits to on so so the same way I would say this time I'm setting the fourth bit to on this time I'm setting the fifth bit to on this time I'm setting the sixth bit to on this time I'm setting the seventh bit to on so this is just the binary you can uh, check on Google 
uh, the binary values for these decimals this time I'm setting 9th bit to on so if I am to pa to execute uh, to provide this authority read and write authority so I'll pass 1, 256 plus 128 which means I'm setting 8th and 9th bit to on so this way we can provide the authorities to the so this was just an example to show you that how this uh, works so what I'll be doing I'll be passing the path and then the mode so what I'm doing is I am providing the read owner or write owner authority so I can read the IFS directory so whatever the files present inside that I can write means I can add or write or rename any anyone any any authority which means I am the owner so I can perform this thing so if I am not the owner I, I won't be able to do that so then I would be passing I would be calling this API mkdir and passing the directory path and the mode so the most important thing here is I need to trim this because this is uh, here 512 length and if I pass the full path full path like the air path so it will it will be passed like slash home slash easy class slash di1 and then the blanks so it will treat those blanks and what will it will say that it will it will give you a, that the path is too long so you need to pass by trimming it and the second parameter that is the mode that is authority so it will return this return underscore mkdi if it is less than zero which means minus one it means there is some error and creation is failed so what i'll do i'll pass error ifs api that will return me the error pointer and then the error number which is associated with this pointer error pointer will be passed to str error and this will return me the error message pointer and this error message is associated with the error message pointer as you can see here this one so i'll display the error message and return for the program otherwise the directory created so here i am creating the dir1 directory so i'm, I'm hard coding the message here next example this so the same thing so see I'll, I'll use the same code here again what i'll do is so i'm writing it multiple times what you can do you can create uh, this program and and you can take create the main prototype and the main pi and you can accept uh, the path as an input parameter uh, from the command line and you can call it multiple times by passing different different paths for this thing so i'm showing you by writing this twice and passing different paths to show you how it works and what error we, we receive so here you can see this is not existed so easy class one is not available as a directory and i'm going to create the dir1 so this will give me the error so in what error it will give me i'll show you that let me compile this so let's debug this So let me go all this program and then let's debug. This is the directory path and this is the mode that is 256 plus uh, 
128 that is 384 that's correct which means 8th and 9th bit will be set to on and here I'm passing the path and the mode let's see what it returns it return me 0 which means the path is created successfully and this will give me the error uh, the successful message the directory is created let's check whether it is created or not so you can see a sub directory dir1 is created inside in the home directory so if i'll do here so you can see we can further create the files within this sub directory dir1 or we can create further sub directories within this sub directory using the same way now let's pass this path this time I receive uh, the error this was the error number which is received let's see what's the message received no such path or directory which means this easy class one is not existed so that's why we are getting this error and we are going to return from this program because we can see we have easy class object not found so you can see here as well that that directory does not exist so that's why um, that is giving that error so if you want to create that dir1 Within easy class one, so we first need to create easy class one, then we can uh, create the DIR using the same API in RPG early. So, this way we can use MKDIR uh, to create the directories in IFS using RPG early in S100. So, that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.